Welcome to iSpring Learn. If you just signed up for iSpring Learn and aren't sure what to do next, you're in the right place. When you sign in, you'll land on the iSpring dashboard. From here, you can see important information such as how many courses in your account, number of users and groups on your account, if there are any assignments that are ready for evaluation, and new courses in your account. You'll also see a side menu that will take you to other areas of the LMS, like courses, reports, trainings, users, and more. Let's click on users to check it out. By default, there's only one user for the account, you. You can add team members or learners by selecting new user and filling out the required information, then selecting save. Or if you want to import new users, you can do so here. Once they've been added, they can view your courses or test the LMS. To get in touch with your learners or answer their questions, use messages over here. Okay, now let's jump into courses to look at how to add content to your account. You can create a course here. Then choose the Add button to add pages, web links, or assignments, or to upload any content you've created to the course. Course modules can be created using iSpring authoring tool, iSpring Suite. They're uploaded to the LMS right from the tool. iSpring Suite is a desktop app that can be downloaded and installed on your computer. You can find a free trial of iSpring Suite at iSpringSolutions.com. Once you've added content for your course, you can enroll any user that you have added to your account by selecting the course in the list and clicking Enroll Users. All enrolled people will get an email with a direct link to the course. You're currently signed in as admin, the person who can configure the portal, create content, and manage users. But you can easily jump to the user portal to see the LMS as a learner. Finally, you can check statistics to see how your learners progress. There are many different types of reports and they're broken down by learners, by courses, by trainings, or other. Let's look at generating a report. And there you have it. This should give you enough information to get started with iSpring Learn. Now it's time to create your own courses with iSpring Suite and upload them to your iSpring Learn portal. Good luck!